Well, welcome back to the channel. Good to see you. Right, today I'm getting a demo test ride on a KTM Adventure 790. So, here goes. Never been on one. I'm told they're a bit of a hooligan bike. So I thought I was left them days long time ago so here we go again gonna have a go We've done Philip McCallum's here in Lisburn um, so let's get a wee ride Good evening and welcome back to my channel. Um, this week I took myself out on a KTM 790 adventure bike. Um, didn't really know what I was expecting. I uh, have heard people saying that it was a bit of a, um, a, bit of a mad bike but uh, I should definitely give it a go. So I decided that's exactly what I was going to do this week. And so this video is about my test ride not a review on the bike uh, and what I find that I did like about it. Um, first off was the riding position. It was great and at no point during the ride did I want to get off and stretch my leg legs like I did with uh, a lot of other bikes. Um, I think it's maybe an age thing. Now saying that, uh, getting on and off was a breeze. Uh, I'm only five foot eight, uh, bald. Um, and fat <laughs> so it was absolutely no problem for me um, so that, that was definitely a plus point for me I was able to throw the leg on and off without any difficulty at all and whenever I stopped um, uh, my feet were well planted oh, they were, I wasn't flat footed but they were definitely well planted I felt safe that there was at no point did the bike feel heavy in any way now, how was the ride well uh, lots of people have told me how aggressive these bikes are, maybe so for, for the 1290, but uh, this 790 was was, um, was great. Um, so I was a bit apprehensive at first, uh, but as soon as I, I rode it, that all faded away on the ride and it was very enjoyable. Acceleration was fantastic. Each of the six gears up and down was easy to go into and from second to third, this for me uh, was where the power kicked in, um, but it was not sharp or jerky, nor did it make me feel like a rebel without a cause, but more smooth and concise. Turn the ride by wire throttle and you did get the power where you expected it to be, uh, and at no point did it feel like it was going to lift the front wheel or throw me off. The engine sound, well, engine sound for a lot of people or uh, what makes them buy a bike. Sound of the engine, was it was a great sound and it, it makes, um, it obviously uh, makes a nice growl. Um, I was well impressed um, with the bike and, and the sound of it. Um, when I first took it out, um, the gear change uh, 
the blipper, uh, the gear change on it, uh, was by far the best on any bike that I had ridden. Um, first gear up the sixth and even all the way back down. I can actually remember myself saying that it was really nice and cheaper. This is really smooth. It would put your mind off. All bikes are analog and this is like digital. Absolutely fantastic. It was a, a real joy. You actually felt yourself going up and down the gears because it just you only had to touch it and the way it went, but it was so smooth. There is bash plates on, but obviously it's an adventure bike, so you would expect it. So there are bash plates um, uh, that come with this bike, which is a, it's a good all-terrain bike, and obviously uh, the exhaust is good and high, so you're not going to be getting any any water or whatnot into it. The engine is powerful. My day out on this bike was truly fantastic, and at the end of the day came, I actually was a wee bit sad bringing it back. The foot pegs are set to allow for standing posture if you are going off-roading, as well as they are comfortable. Uh, you are upright seated, ready position. I personally loved it. Never trying to stretch my legs out during the ride. Um, so it, it really is comfortable. It's a good seat um, and there was no complaints whatsoever. Um, what it did also was impressed with the, the bike that um, this uh, model came with a 5 inch um, TFT coloured screen. Um, I'm not sure if that's the same throughout the range but um, it was pleasant to see and it was nice uh, coming from the bike that I normally ride uh, every day. Uh, it, was, it was good to see it. Uh, one thing that I did find with it that um, just above the TFT screen uh, there was a mount and I wasn't sure if it was when I fiddled about with it for a bit um, I think if I had read it it would have told me what it was but I decided to fiddle before I read um, and it must come with a GPS mount or you're, you, like you can just plug your unit straight into it um, you just above the TFT screen you lift up this uh, little catch and then you can mount your uh, GPS unit into it. Now I didn't go any further, obviously I didn't have a unit with me, didn't lift it, um, I, just once I read the, the bit in front of it, that was enough to tell me that that's uh, actually was that's what that was for. So that's actually quite ni nice and neat coming from um, the KTM crowd that um, it's just something you can add in without trying to fiddle around with getting extra things to fit your bag. Uh, the fuel tank uh, is absolutely fantastic. It gives a good 250 uh, mile range, so um, obviously good for an adventure bike. But um, my chances of doing adventure riding are probably very slim. So I'm, everything I do is is road. Uh, I'm, I love the shape of an adventure bike, but I'm certainly not going to try it uh, with a big heavy bike. This bike was nice and light, um, and very flickable. Um, you, you would have had no problem taking this off road and putting it through its paces if you were in that sort of mindset. Um, another thing that I did find was the, the mud guards were set very high. Now I was out on a very dirty day. Um, it was wet, it was very, very overcast and very murky. So I was getting lots of dirt being kicked up around me and I, I noticed that all my gear <laughs> was very dirty by the end of the day. Um, so I don't think the mud guards were set for um, the wood. They're they're really set for like a like what a sports bike would be. Um, the lighting, rear lighting and front lighting is all LED, uh, so you get your maximum uh, visibility. The tail light was tucked in at the back, which I noticed that that actually would be a nice thing that you wouldn't be dropping something off the back, and it would if the bike fell over it probably wouldn't get damaged so that was, it was quite nice it, although it was small it, it was very bright um, so uh, having LED lights uh, at the front it w was was fantastic um, and I think there's not the lighting system on it as it gets dark the lights then automatically come on so you have the likes of your DRLs and then you have your headlight and then um, on your, your button on your right hand side same as, or your left hand side same as other bikes you have your main beam 
Now the bike had blackout rims uh, with poly spokes on it. Uh, they are a 21 inch front wheel and an 18 inch rear wheel. Now a lot of people would say the 21 inch uh, wheel uh, could be a bit wobbly while it was on the road but at no point did I think that a 21 inch wheel um, was very shaky if anything. Uh, you were very planted on the bike, very planted on the road and it went where you wanted it to go. There was absolutely no pre no difference whatsoever. So um, I, I don't know why other people found that uh, the bike uh, did make a difference, but it definitely did with me. And I wasn't pushing it to the limit. I was just out having a leisurely drive, enjoying it, um, doing what you would normally do on a bike. So, I mean, I did love it. Um, and when it did stop, I noticed that uh, the front brakes on it, uh, it's a dual um, disc, uh, system that, that's on it and they're 320 millimeter and it's a four piston caliber and on the rear um, it's 216 millimeter with a two piston uh, floating caliber it is of course a parallel twin uh, the power on the bike is 95 um, horsepower which is about 70 kilowatts and your transmission as i said was a six speed it's liquid cooled um, and I suppose that one of the final things is that their top speed, I think, is in around uh, 130. And if you were sitting on 130 this here, you would be absolutely mental. So hopefully that gives you my little insight into what I thought um, I liked about the KTM 790 Adventure. It's definitely um, a bike. If I didn't already have an adventure bike, it's certainly one that I would definitely consider uh, buying. So. Thank you very much for uh, watching the video and if you liked it subscribe and don't forget to like it and share thank you very much